What's up, Sports Wars? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Simone Biles has now uh, officially withdrawn from individual competition along with team competition at the Olympics and citing mental health reasons as for that decision. And a lot of people are questioning this decision. And it has been very uh, messy in how it was presented. At first it was reported as medical, and now it's being reported as mental health. Um, here's the USA Gymnastics tweet. It says, after further medical evaluation, Simone Biles has withdrawn from the final individual all-around competition. Uh, we wholeheartedly support Simone's decision and applaud her bravery in prioritizing her well-being. Her courage shows yet again why she is a role model for so many. And look, Simone Biles is a, a fantastic athlete, one of the greatest athletes we've seen. There's no debate there. There's no debate to be had in terms of her level of greatness and, and her place in, uh, among the greats. But when you label yourself the GOAT, when you label yourself the greatest of all time, do you think that's not going to bring a level of scrutiny along with it? Do you not think that's going to bring a level of expectations with it? And the way this all played out is very questionable as to how we got to this point and why we got to this point. And I'm not sure we're ever going to find out the answer, but we are talking about a professional athlete that has been performing at the highest level. And again, I'm not going to pretend to understand um, what that feels like, but I am allowed to question it when there are a lot of things that don't really seem to be adding up with this situation. Um, now, first and foremost, I, I want to wish her nothing but the best, and I hope that everything um, you know turns out good for her. Um, but on the surface, it it can be questioned as to is she quitting on her team? Is she quitting on her team? I don't know the answer to that question. Um, what I do know is that a guy like this um, who says, and I can't play the clip because this is from The Last Dance, but when, when you got this guy right here who is the GOAT, and by the way, he's never said he was the GOAT. He let his play do it, and then when other people would ask him about it, he would say, it's not really up for me to decide. I'm just happy to be mentioned along the all-time greats. You know, when, when, you, when you are humble enough when you are that great and you're humble enough to not actually say it, it's so much easier to accept it. But when you label yourself that, and then you want to cite mental health reasons as to why you are walking away from your team and competition, there's going to be a lot more scrutiny surrounding that. LeBron James is someone who said he's the GOAT, and people really are not willing to accept that. Now, they would not have accept that either way because he's not the GOAT. He never will be the GOAT. You're looking at the GOAT right here. But when you have an athlete that's willing to say that, then, of course, there's going to be a level of scrutiny that follows that. Uh, Michael Jordan right here, uh, so he never asked me to do something he didn't effing do. And that's a quote from Michael Jordan talking about that his teammates would always say, he never asked me to do something that I wouldn't do. The mental toughness on Michael Jordan is one of the many reasons why he is the GOAT. It's the same reason Tom Brady is referred to as the greatest of all time in the NFL because of his mental toughness. Because Tom Brady doesn't need to... Uh, ever play another down. He hasn't needed to play another down since like 2007. I mean, probably even before that. Uh, but, I mean, the guy just shows up every single year like his job is on the line and like he has everything to prove. Another all-time great athlete in terms of mental toughness was Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. We know that Kobe's mental toughness was on another level. Tiger Woods, another person whose mental toughness in the game, because you can question a lot of his decisions off of the you know golf course, but on the course in his prime, the dude was unstoppable. You know what I mean? His mental toughness was next level. And again, I hope everything works out with Simone Biles, but fans are going to question it when you call yourself the GOAT. And then when you find yourself not uh, you know, participating or not playing up to standards or performing up to standards, and then suddenly you're ready to quit um, and walk away due to mental health, fans have a right to, to question that when you've labeled yourself the GOAT. 
Um, that's just how it is, unfortunately, at the highest level. But nothing but respect to Simone Biles. Um, I did do something um, that I always do when we're talking about famous people or athletes or anything like that. I did check. Uh, I always search their name with a certain um, former president of the United States of America uh, to see if they had any uh, opinions on the matter. And uh, yes, yeah, Simone Biles obviously did because of course she did. Um, Simone Biles says any athlete has the right to share their opinions on politics. And you're right, they do. But you're also going to get scrutiny that comes along with that. And Simone Biles was very opinionated about one Donald J. Trump. Interesting how it all plays out like that. Every single time you always go back to the, the 45th president of the United States of America and, and these athletes just cannot help themselves. These Hollywood nutjob actors can't help themselves. There's always a case of TDS involved with these situations. Always. It almost never fails. I have never, I was never aware of Simone Biles having those comments. But as soon as I saw this, and I'm like, okay, athlete at the highest level, suddenly walking away, citing mental health. I bet she's probably had something to say about Trump. There it is. It never fails. It never fails. And again, I don't care what your opinion of Trump or anything in politics are. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. But every time I see this play out, there's always a severe case of TDS involved every single time. So if you as an athlete think it's okay to share your political opinions, then guess what? You as an athlete need to understand that that's going to bring a level of scrutiny. That's why I just qualified myself by saying, I don't mind who you voted for. I don't care what your opinions are as long as you don't have a severe case of TDS anyway. If you voted for Biden, that's great. If you hate Trump, that's great. Doesn't bother me at all. What I get bothered by is people that can't accept other opinions. And Simone Biles, based on her own words, she would never publicly be able to tell you that it's okay that you voted for Donald Trump. She doesn't have that ability. None of these people do. They don't have that ability. I, I have the ability to tell you right now, if you voted for Biden, that's totally fine. I clearly disagree with you. I clearly think that you're not paying attention, but it's okay. I respect that you disagree with me. I respect your right to disagree with me. People like Simone Biles can't do that. But she says it's okay for athletes to talk politics, but now she's citing mental health. It sounds to me like you're bringing a lot of the, all your problems onto yourself. You call yourself the GOAT. You call yourself the greatest of all time. And then you're uh, walking away in the biggest moment. Well, you can't call yourself the GOAT. You say it's okay for athletes to talk about politics, and that's fine. You can do that. But now you're citing mental health. Well, which is it? Like, you can't have both. You seem to be bringing a lot of these problems on to yourself. So maybe don't talk about politics and maybe don't call yourself the GOAT. Just an idea. Just an idea. But, like I said, this is one of the greatest gymnasts we've ever seen, Olympic athletes we've ever seen. I'm not here to debate that. I'm not here to challenge that. I'm just asking questions based on the actions of the individual that we are talking about. Brand yourself the GOAT and you say athletes can talk about politics, but do you really believe athletes can talk about politics? Do you really believe that athletes that supported Trump should be able to talk about that publicly and praise him publicly? Because I don't think you do. I don't think you believe athletes that like Donald Trump or support him should be able to publicly talk about him. I don't think you do at all. I don't think so. But either way, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.